We arrive at a very special place on our northeastern Bulgaria route, the place where the country of Bulgaria was born in the early medieval times. This place is the modern city of Schumann and the important sites of the early Bulgaria. Our first stop is Veliki Preslav, the Great Preslav. This is the second capital of Bulgaria from 893 to 972 AD during the golden age of the first Bulgarian Empire. And this is the ruins of one of the largest churches from that period, a symbol of the recently introduced Orthodox Christian religion. Here we can see the ruins of the King's Palace and other important capital buildings from this period. The period of the Kings Boris I, Simeon the Great and Peter I. Now we go to Schumann, and the main places of interest are the high Schumann plateau that rises above the city. Here we can see the Schumann fortress and the creators of Bulgaria memorial. The memorial is built in 1981 and is dedicated to the creation of the first Bulgarian empire in 681, exactly 1,300 years later. In honor of this event, there are 1,300 steps of this long trail leading from the city to the memorial. Here is the first capital of Bulgaria. This is Pliska. We visit one of the first Orthodox Christian churches in the First Bulgarian Empire. It was built in the 9th century. We enter the ruins of Pliska. In the beginning, Bulgaria was ruled by Hans. They were the rulers of the ancient Bulgar people who came from Middle Asia to the Balkans and mixed with the local Slavs. And here they established their capital. One of the most important events in the 9th century was the creation of the Cyrillic alphabet. Today, there is a modern village of Pliska, not far from the ruins of the first Bulgarian capital. And here we visit the Museum of the Cyrillic alphabet. The museum presents the time period when this alphabet was created. There are three main halls where you can see more information about this event. In the third hall, you can see wax figures of the first Bulgarian rulers. And in the yard, memorials of famous writers from all over the world who have used the Cyrillic alphabet. Now we go to a mysterious place. This is another plateau near Schumann called Madara Plateau and on its rocky walls you can see an inscription of a horseman. This is the famous Madara horseman. 
Nobody knows for sure who has made it and for what purpose. Most probably it dated from the 8th or 9th century AD. On the top of the plateau we can see the walls of Madara Fortress. This is a beautiful place that reveals amazing views of the plain below the plateau. And at the foot of the plateau we can see some caves that have been used as Orthodox Christian places for worship. Our last stop is the fortress of Ovech, another medieval fortress built on another plateau near the city of Provadia. This is the last video on our northeastern Bulgaria route. From Schumen we traveled to the northernmost point of the Bulgarian Black Sea coast. And soon you can expect another video series from our next route along the Bulgarian Riviera. Hope you enjoy our videos, subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.